Hello guys, it's your boy Pookie once again, and in a few days ESL1 Cologne is gonna begin. So I decided to make a video on who I think is gonna win. If you guys don't know what ESL1 Cologne is, let me explain it really quick. Valve basically wants to keep the competitive scene alive so their game will stay popular, but at the same time they want to make as much revenue as possible by making us buy stakers. So that's why they came up with the genius idea to to organize three major tournaments every year where pro teams play against each other and we the community can buy stakers and autographs of our favorite players and teams. In this video I'm gonna do a professional analysis on who I think is gonna win the next major. Roll the intro! You might be thinking, but Pookie, you don't know anything about pro CS. You have lost so much money on CSGO allowance, why should I take your advice instead of analysts such as Thorin? But hey, if Harry Potter taught me anything, it's that you should never trust the guy with red hair. And just for a comparison, which one of these two guys would you trust more? Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's start. I already know a lot about CSGO being a Master Guardian Elite myself. I've seen pro teams come and go and every day I'm inspecting pro demos to look at all the different aspects that make a big good CSGO team. I also tried to qualify for the major myself until I realized that I was the only good player in my pro team and our in-game leader was Fagbent. So it's kinda sad that I won't be there to compete this major, but I uh, don't worry I will probably qualify myself for the next one. You probably clicked on this video to know my prediction. So to make it a bit more interesting, let's first go over the teams I don't think are gonna win. Basically all the teams from group A have no chance of winning in my opinion. CLG is basically a North American team who just gave up their best lounging player in the world and as we all know Asians will never be as good at lounging as Americans. They also got a pita and I don't really know how that's gonna work, so I'm pretty sure they won't win this major. Now next up we have Astralis, who are normally pretty good, but recently traded their player Cajun B for Kierby, the CSGO player with the most game sense in the entire world, but for some reason they can't use him at the major, so instead they have to use Glaive. Kirby is an amazing player and without him I don't think they will have a chance to win this major. Next up we have Gambit who accidentally recruited a sex god instead of a CS god and Dignitas who just lost their star player Kirby and their performance lately also isn't that good. I would actually bet my whole CSGO inventory that no one from this group A is gonna win the major and that's why I would also call it the weakest group of the major. Now let's take a look at group B who have 3 teams that aren't gonna win. Let's start with Flipside who just have some decent players but world editor main op never performs at majors and for the rest they just have decent players such as Markelov but nothing good enough to win the major. Next up is Optic, who up until recently were a Call of Duty team and I don't really see a team with 5 ops running around winning something and that's also why I don't think they will win the major. You could argue that Navi has a decent chance to win the major, but lately Guardian isn't performing well since he broke his wrist while doing football. And Zeus smoked too much weeds and has now gone insane and spends most of his day talking to frogs. Envy or Virtus Pro? Who? Uh, he says that Virtus Pro has to Virtus Pro, do you think? Блядь, кричит Virtus.pro, Virtus.pro. 
but in Group B we also have NIP, who were in the 5 finals of the last 8 majors and they also won DreamHack Malmo recently. Lately their form has dropped off a bit, but for some reason NIP always performs well at majors, so that's why I would rate NIP as a potential major winner. No, let's go over to Group C where basically everything is possible because these are all some teams that are very explosive and also very inconsistent. Liquid is definitely an interesting team because they got Simple back and they also got the only two pro CSGO players Simple actually likes. So we might see some interesting stuff from them, but I don't think they will have enough quality to win a major. Virtus Pro is also a decent team on LAN, but maybe if Biali learns that you can't hit players behind a wall, they could maybe reach the semi-finals. Also, Envious are slowly getting better and with French teams everything is possible, but I don't think they will win. Group D is definitely the most interesting one because it got Fnatic, SK and G2 and these all have a shot at winning this major. Especially G2 looks pretty hot lately with Scream's one taps and the game sense of shocks. So to determine who of these four teams, NIP, G2, SK and Fnatic is gonna win, I will have a special match. I put a team name on four different papers and my buddy Kevin over here is gonna shit on the paper that's gonna win. Okay, let's take a look. So guys, pretty news, G2 is gonna win the major. I hope you enjoyed my analysis and I see you guys in my next video. You will also need to change your Steam profile so that it says you are from Russia and write something on your bio like I am Vladimir, my hobby is football and Counter Strike. Don't you think this looks like a perfect example of someone you would encounter in matchmaking? Okay, so the next step is probably the most difficult one, so I would recommend taking another shot of vodka. We already look like a Russian now and we still have to sound like one in-game. Communication is very important in CSGO, so with the